Hello everyone. So today we are going to implement this additional parameter and explain how to change the shape of these volumetric clouds we get by default. So this is what we have by default. You, my, you should be familiar with this shape that we get usually and even though there are parameters we kind of uh, stuck with the same basic the basic shape so here are the variations that I have developed and I'm going to show you where to ch make these changes and how to make these variations and how to apply them so yeah this is what we are going to work on today So if I select this uh, volumetric cloud object, you can see the material here. If you double click, you can open it. Now this is actually not like um, usual material that we encounter. This is an external actor, maps, something like a temporary thing. I'm not sure exactly what it is. So anyway, you can see the material used for this here so i think i changed this parent previously uh, when i was working with the time uh, rain and darkening cloud system so anyway if you use this magnifier icon you can see the location where that material is stored so for me it's this one now to start digging into this material and figure out a way to change this shape that i get the, i'm pretty sure that you are familiar with this shape you see here so actually uh, let me first create a backup so that i will have what i have here in case I change something and forgot about that so if you open you have a bunch of parameters here to see to do customizations to these clouds so basically you have for example let me change this weather UV scale so if I instead of three if I do something like eight you can see now we do have a different shape but the clouds are everywhere and we start to see some sort of a pattern as well this uh, texture pattern and if I reduce it we had three here let me use zero now you see so basically the scale has been increased the size has been increased so that's why we see the clouds over cloud cover is still increased so uh yeah you can do some modifications here but still you kind of have the same base you get that everywhere so actually that shape is coming from let me go to the actual material and simple volumetric cloud so this is a copy of the original material that i have created because i had i added some additional material parameters here somewhere to have this density offset for our raining system but that's not very important here oh yeah here you have so yeah the shape is coming from this texture basically so that's why you whenever you have volumetric clouds you kind of see this shape so let's see if we can do some modifications and get some difference so let me export this texture into explorer into windows and let me open it so now this is the texture so here let me do some modifications i'll select black and use the brush 
um, done like this right. and draw black here Okay, let me save this. Cloud two and let's import it. Wait, I should import it here. Cloud two. And use that apply now you see that shape is gone and we have a different set of clouds also since I already have this density offset parameter I can use it to further reduce the clouds if I need see now we have some cool shape And when I have the shape, if I go into the night, so we should see the moon clearly. Moon. So with that, we should get more clear aurora effect also. If I want to completely get rid of clouds, we can simply have a minus one here. So no more clouds. It's just plain sky and the auroras. And if you need to have a little bit of cloud, point eight, some clouds, yeah. Okay, uh, let me import the original one. I'll call it cloud one. The original texture also here. Let's go back to data. And let's try a totally different shape. What if? We let's add a new layer and select this color first. Let's draw some lines. No, let's first draw red. Like this. to see what happens then reduce the size of the scale of the brush right now I'll add another layer a black layer and hide this one let me save this as cloud 4 No, cloud 3 and import it let's see what kind of a shape we can get ah, you can see that shape cool also right now that we know the method let me add something else okay oh wait I need to pick the color 
8 Maybe just this red and let's see how it looks. Cloud four. Oh, I don't see a cloud at all, so guess we need some yellow as well because we don't get the enough thickness of the cloud to see that that must be the reason oh wait yeah let me say it is here yeah we do get cloud okay so i think if i add oh well let's Check the previous one also without with the zero density offset. Yeah, cool. Okay, but it looks too like uh, unnatural with this pattern. But this one seems cool. Let me go. Of fancy yeah we can see the rough shape okay all right now let me add some yellow also just add only for this so that we should have a difference in the heights as well yeah see this height we get from the real part it is not necessarily cool, uh, but now we know. I think we can make this look a bit softer with some parameters here. If I add another layer, this and reduce transparency. We should have better results, let's see. Oh, we have like two layers. Right, um, anyway. So I created these dots and got something like this. Now, uh, let me promote this one as uh, parameter crowd shape cloud shape because it's not a single cloud like why is but it went away Oh, yeah. share is company right now it's back now you can easily change the texture here use for the clouds 
you can override it like this. Right, so yeah, I'm gonna stop this episode right here. And thanks for watching. As always, Project Files will be available for download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.